Every child deserves the best. Every child deserves a good life. Every child deserves a stress-free life. Give it to them. Hi guys, it's your girl Great Faith. Uh, one of the things I love doing is settling. So I decided to go to one of the Lutrinum parks today called the Vingis Parkers. I went there with some of my friends to go and circle. Like it was fun, fun, fun. After which we decided to head off to the Centras. So this is the Lutheranian Centras. Okay. Like the Gidemini Street is one of the best streets for me in Lithuania. Like I love this street so much because this in this street you get to meet like a lot of international people. Like it's so open, you can be able to see how beautiful this street is. So I really love it. So I love shooting here. So we decided to go grab some, of course, some bubble teas as usual. It was a sunny day so everyone is just energetic out here cycling as well so i was just like roaming around the parks because i needed a shooting spot this is like one of the best parks for me in lithuania so i usually come here to come and shoot most of my videos if you've been watching my videos you will know that that is my spot there so this is where i made the video for today guys hi everyone thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if today is the first time you're coming across any kind of my video i mean like any kind of my thumbnails i really want to say a huge thank you guys thank you for subscribing to my channel and at the same time thank you for okay there is something i love bubble tea a lot it's pretty hot but i just have to come out here to shoot today's video and there are some things i would like to share with you guys because i really want my fans or my subscribers to really understand what is happening so across times i've been asking so many questions why do you all get scammed i heard most of you have been like 10 8 million naira for northern cyprus and some of you are paying 10 million naira for Schengen tourist visa. All right, let's get into what we have today. But before we do that, well, I hear a lot of things, but I just share what I know I can share. If all of you are paying such amount and there are people in my comment sessions that are crying because of 4 million, 4.5. So why are the people making those kind of payments? And all through last week, I was asking a question. Why are you guys getting scammed? Why are you getting scammed? If you're so smart, in my comment section, why are you guys getting scammed? Why are people taking your hard earned money? At one point, at what point do you allow someone else to use the head on your shoulders? I was asking these questions. You know i'm a bit curious as to what is happening and what is not happening because i hear a lot of things from a lot of people but let's not dive in there today i just want to give us some highlights before i talk about the video for the day first and foremost we are having a lutrinia promo which i have already posted from 3200 euros we didn't beat it down to 2800 euros we pushed it further to 1900 euros so you can be able to use, let's say, tourist visa to come to any of the Schengen's, but it has to be more than 30 days. After which you can come into Lithuania to apply for your resident permit. Or you can travel to any of the countries that have the Lithuanian embassy, all right? To be able to apply for your Lithuanian residence. So totally dependent on you guys, totally dependent on what you can afford. The target was just 10 persons, and we are almost there at the, the number that we are looking for. But if anything changes, of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Which other packages that we have? I'm not going to talk about in this video because in this video, I want to talk about something totally different. I want to talk about something very important. It's another kind of migration, but it's a kind of migration that gives your child this um, sense of nationality, nationalism, I would say, sense of belonging. It gives your child, like it gives your child direction. It 
builds a proper foundation for them, for your children, for your child, depending on how many children you want to give birth to, is opportunities that make you like feel fulfilled in some way because every one of us wanted or wants a good life. Let's assume that you were born in some certain country. That country covers you and it gives you some certain kind of privileges, right? But because of where we were born, our passport somehow places some kind of limitations, places some kind of restrictions. So, while we are expanding as a company, we are also trying to put some things in place. We are also trying to extend to some packages that not necessarily study, studies, not necessarily work. So, there are a lot of things. It's either you are having a good life, or either you're struggling, or either the stress is multiplied. It certainly depends most of the times the struggles that we have. Okay, for those of us that have already traveled out, the truth is that, to be candid, the truth is that we struggle most of the time. For instance, you can arrive as, at an international entrance now. At the immigration, they will just look at other nations and be like, your passport, okay, welcome to Susan Country. We are happy to have you. They just stamp them in. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But your passport, they can keep you on the queue for like one to two hours. You did nothing wrong, but just because of your nationality. They have to check the intestine of the passport. They have to check the veins. They have to check the artery. They have to check the score. They have to check the stomach. They have to check the eye, the nose, the mouth of the passport to make sure that everything is good. So, a lot of us are going through these struggles. A lot of us are struggling. So if you see the opportunity to give your children a better life, I do understand that a lot of you are going to take it right. So, this has been ongoing. So since we're already partnering with this great organization and they are running this package or they are running this uh, kind of package that is totally different from what we are doing, I thought it twice to bring it to my platform to be able to share with other people because you never can tell in the past, some people reached out to us anyways to ask if we are offering such services. But I told them then that we weren't offering those services. But now we have it on our platform. I am going to be sharing it. Alright, you guys. I want to talk about um, citizenships. Okay? Of three different countries. How you can be able to give that to your child? By birth. So this is specifically for people that are pregnant. Maybe you know someone, you have an auntie, you have a brother, whatever, whoever you have, that's connected to you, that is pregnant, that want to give their child or their children a good life. There are people that they don't want to give back to their children in Nigeria, in Ghana, in wherever. You hear that people went to the US, they gave back there to Canada. We are offering these services. So the good news is that we are going to be talking about the United States of America, we are going to be talking about Canada on the other hand and the third one we are going to be talking about Mexico okay so these are the three countries I'm bringing your way today and the citizenship for your children so this video is simply batting your child abroad that is what I'm going to be discussing here so first and foremost I'm going to begin with Canada after Canada I'm going to talk about Mexico after Mexico then we move on to the United States of America then that's going to be the end of the video. I will try as much as I can to make sure that the video is short, brief, and straight to the point. All right. So for Canada, how you can be able to give your child a citizenship in Canada by birth, let's talk about the hospital fees. What are the hospital fees in this case? First and foremost, they have like different kind of delivery. They have the vagina delivery. They have the C-section. So it's dependent on the one the woman or the husband or the family they are agreeing on that is going to be the kind or the amount they are going to be paying on this video of course this is specifically for people that are pregnant right so if you're not pregnant please your church or church is we don't need it you understand this is not admission so for the hospital fee first and foremost we are going to talk about canada so for the canada we have the hospital fees and for vaginal delivery, for doctor's fees, it costs 4,000 Canadian dollars, which includes antidental, postnatal visits, delivery free, and pediatrician visits. So, for this, 
if we are to add everything together for the, the okay the doctor's fee is four thousand okay that is the doctor's fee i've already told you what it includes but the hospital fee for vaginal delivery is going to be six thousand eight hundred canadian dollars i've talked about the hospital fee i've talked about the doctor's fee okay that is for the vaginal delivery if we are not to talk about the c-section fees for the c-section the doctor's fee is about four thousand five hundred canadian dollars which includes antenatal and postnatal visits anesthesia delivery fee and pediatrician fee okay this is what is included in the c-section fees and for the hospital fee for the c-section is the same as for the vaginal delivery for the first one i talked about okay now if for after giving birth to your child especially for the male children and you want to undergo circumcision for circumcision is about 430 canadian dollars 430 canadian dollars for the circumcision the service charge the service charge is only one thousand dollars one thousand dollars okay the dollars is charged one thousand that is it for the service charge somebody is going to be asking is it for the canadian dollars or the u.s dollars is for the u.s dollars one thousand dollars okay now for the canadian applicants you have to pay the applicant the visa fee yourself and the visa fee is about 185 canadian dollars per applicant so for instance you're coming with your friend that is pregnant both of you want to undergo this procedure together maybe it's for the c-session maybe it's for the vaginal delivery it's going to be the same amount for the visa fee all right so that is that for the canadian uh, c-session and vaginal delivery the total cost of everything that you are going to be uh, charged let's move on to the mexico now for the mexico there's something very very important for this mexico that i want to talk about and now the thing is that okay i'm going to talk about it sorry i'm going to talk about it at the end of the video there's something i really want to talk about for the mexico at the end of the video i'm going to talk about the benefits of all of them now for the mexico is 350 usd for financial uh, for vaginal delivery and the CS, sorry, for the vaginal delivery for Mexico is 3,500 US dollars, okay? Then for the CS is 4,500 US dollars for medical bills, baby's documents and PR cost $1,000. Do you understand? Baby's documents and your permanent resident is about $1,000. So the difference between the uh, Canadian birth giving and the Mexico uh, birth giving is that for the Canadian, they are only, it's just about the child. The child is going to be getting the citizenship, citizenship, right? But for the Mexico, the child is going to be getting the citizenship and the parent is going to be getting the permanent residence. So simply, you are using one stone to kill two birds. So you're not just going there alone. You are getting the permanent residence and your husband. Your child is getting the citizenship. All right. So now, how about the accommodation? When we're talking about the accommodation, the accommodation ranges from $1,200 to $1,800 per month, depending on the type of accommodation, which is to say that some can be higher, some can be expensive, some can be less expensive, totally dependent on the kind of accommodation that you want to stay and the service charge okay for each of these countries the service charge is different the service charge for the mexico is about nine hundred thousand naira i'm going to be putting that in dollars for those of you that are going to be needing it okay nine hundred thousand naira for the pregnant woman and any dependent have to pay 500,000 naira okay service service charge for the pregnant woman 900,000 if you're dependent or you're coming with them it's going to be 500,000 naira 
I'm going to be putting the actual amount in the universal currency, which is in dollar. Okay, so now for the Mexico, you will need a UK transit visa to go to Mexico and it costs $64 per applicant. You're going to be needing the UK transit visa to go to Mexico and it costs about $64 per applicant. Or you can apply for your UK standard visa, which is about like six months, which gives you access to enter the United Kingdom and also transit through the airport, okay? Per applicant, the fee is about 130 US dollars per applicant. All right. Or if that you don't like that, you can apply for what they call priority visa. The priority visa process is about 500 pounds per applicant, apart from the visa fee, which means that the visa fee is different and the processing of priority visa is on its own is 500 pounds per person if you want to use the priority visa if you don't want to use the normal visa so for the mexico we've already talked about the amount everything is going to cost the amount for the vagina delivery the baby's documents your permanent residence if we, for the husband and wife husband and wife is going to be getting the permanent residence i think this is a very huge and great opportunity for those parents that really want to give their children a better life or for dual citizenship or you want to give your child another kind of passport to avoid all this chauffeur, all this struggling, all this stress up and down, you come with your passport, they look at you from head to toe as if it doesn't, you don't matter in this world, you know? I, when I saw this opportunity, I'm like, oh yeah, let's go for it because like we love it and we want such opportunity. Now, the last country that we want to talk about today is the United States of America. For the US, for vagina delivery for the US is six thousand us dollars okay for vagina delivery and for cs is about eight thousand five hundred dollars eight thousand five hundred dollars accommodation ranges from one thousand dollars to two thousand depending on what you want to pay when you get there accommodation is from one thousand to two thousand us dollars depending on what you want to pay when you get there processing fee is about 700 us dollars and your visa fee is about 185 us dollars okay now any dependent pays half of the processing fee and pays visa fee in fee so that is basically everything here so to sum it all up, in order for you guys to understand what this video is actually all about. So for the United States, you are going to be giving your child a citizenship after they've, they've been born in the territory of the US or in the hospital. Then for Canada, it's still going to be the same thing. But for Mexico, you are going to be having a permanent residence while your child is going to be having the citizenship. I've already talked about the accommodation and also these are the benefits for those of you that really want to apply or those of you that you, are, you know someone that is pregnant that is looking for this opportunity or you yourself you're pregnant or your friend is pregnant or you want to share this opportunity I think this is an amazing opportunity for them okay so that being established guys I think this is a very great opportunity for everyone who wants to give their child a better life trust me there is a lot of benefit when your child have a dual citizenship. You might not understand it until they get to a certain age and they start going through the trauma and the stress that is being attached to our passport. Ah, my people, I don't think you really want to go through that. I don't think you will like, like, do you understand like you have an international passport that you are applying the same thing with other nationalities and you are just getting rejected without any reason and let me bust your bubbles do you know that with the mexico uh, citizenship they have access to canada it's visa free so if you give your child a medical um sorry if you give your child a mexico uh, international passport or citizenship by birth what does that entail it simply means that even if they are to go to other countries any country that have visa free to Mexico, they do not need visa. Do you get? 
is applicable to the US, is applicable to Canada. So I think this is a very great opportunity. For those of you that really want to give your children a better life, or your daughter, your son, or dual citizenship, I think you all should use this opportunity. That is why I'm bringing it your way. If you know somebody that's going to need it, please kindly share this video with them, because this is really going to help them. So guys, this is the end of my video. I totally do appreciate everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for sticking around. If you have any question, please, you can drop it on the comment section. I can be able to respond. If you come to me privately on my WhatsApp chat, please, I charge for consultation. No matter what the question is, I'm going to charge you because that is my job and I need to crack my head to make sure I give you correct information because it's the inf correct information I'm giving you that is going to determine what next you need to do. So, if you don't want to pay, you don't feel like it, you can just use Google to Google through. I am not like, I'm not being rude, I'm just saying what you should do rather than coming to me for me to be able to do this for you. So that's all I wanted to share in this video. Thank you so much everyone. I do appreciate you. Goodbye.